Ministry of ADRA Canada, projects within Canada provide help to individuals and families who are unemployed, working poor or disadvantaged in poverty-stricken and urban areas here in Canada. The ADRA Canada Inner City offering support churches and compassionate volunteers who are implementing community development and relief services across the country. They are giving the precious gift of hope. So um, again, brothers and sisters, give generously and accordingly to will. Uh, our re uh, deacons are ready now to serve. Thank you. Please stand.
let's pray lord we thank you for coming for this world and showing us to live you touch so many lives through your actions of giving we want to model to our world that the ministry of the canadian inner city program and our gifts in support of the great work they do we pray in jesus name amen please be seated I invite now to, uh, all our uh, kids in our church. Just come in the front and uh, listen to a story given by. Uh, <laughs> it says here that uh, Jenny Carson told me, but I don't know where it is right now. Thank you. So come. Oh, I think they're all in the others, uh, that room. So can you please call them and come out? So dedicated, Biel and Zyra. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh, so good. <laughs> um, who, who here has a brother or a sister? Raise your hand. Exactly. Now, do you like your... I have a brother and a sister. Okay. Do you like your brother and sister? Do you? And sometimes. It's okay if you say sometimes. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys a story today about, actually, I'm going to tell you two stories. So listen very carefully. Got it? So the first one is about James. James is my friend from school. Do you guys know him? Have you seen him? Mm-hmm. Okay. So he has an older brother. Now, he didn't really like his older brother when he was little. So who here has climbed a tree before? Yeah, a tree. Okay, so one time... One time, James and his brother, they were climbing up a big tree, and James was faster than his brother, and so he shot up all the way to the branches, while his brother and his friend were still at the bottom, ugh, trying to get up, and they couldn't get up. So James was really impatient, and he was waiting on top of the branch. He's like, oh, Josh is taking so long. I have to go to the washroom. He had to relieve, and so, he was there, and Josh is still taking so long because he's just not as athletic as James is. And so James decided, hmm, I have to really use the washroom. I got to go really badly. <laughs> and so he's waiting, and he's waiting, and Josh is taking too long. So he said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to relieve myself right now. So he takes off his pants, and he pees on Josh. And while he's doing this, he's like, oh, this is so fun. Look at Josh. And Josh's like, stop, stop, stop. And Josh couldn't get down at all because he was stuck in the tree. And James is just having a good time. Okay, so that's the first story, okay? Now listen to the second story and see if you can find a connection between the two, okay? Do you guys think you can do that? Okay. So the second one was um, in university. And there is a teacher in university and all the kids were so tired because there was a big exam coming up. And so they go into the room, and the professor's there, and he said, okay, instead of your exam, you guys are going to draw a picture for me. And the, kids, and the students were like, whoa, wow, this is awesome. We just have to draw a picture for our exam. And so um, the teacher all gave them a blank sheet of paper, just like the one over there. Like, it's just blank, right? Gave them a blank sheet of paper, and you know what the teacher said? The teacher said, I want you to draw the person that you do not like the most in the world. The person who's mean to you, the person who's not nice to you. I want you to draw that person on your, on your paper. And so all the kids were drawing, I mean, all the students were drawing like, yeah, I like this. I'm just going to draw the person I don't like. And some of them drew 
this guy who was mean to them at lunch. Some of them drew um, this friend who, who was not so nice to them the other day. And then when they were done, the teacher said, how do you feel? Like, yeah, we, we don't like this person that we drew on our piece of paper. And so then the teacher said, okay, now what I want you to do is go here to the wall. And on the wall, he had this white piece of paper on the wall. And he said, I want you to take a piece of tape and individually, I want you guys to put the picture of the person you don't like onto the wall and stick it there. And then I have here some darts. Do you know what darts are? These darts. And the teacher said, and one by one, you guys are going to go stick that picture of that person there. You're going to get this dart, and you're going to throw it at that person, and it's going to hit them. It's, like he's going to feel, it's going to feel good. And so all the students were like, yeah, I want to do that to this person. So they took their picture, and they stuck.